Hey everybody, 1,000 VR apps is what I've crossed. It's just a number. I thought I'd sit down and, I don't know, talk about it. A bit weird, I started off with um, Proton Pulse, a game where literally you were doing virtual VR Pong with your face. Uh, and I think I dinged a 1,000 playing Elixir, a hand tracking game, where, you, where you've got the most awesome, like, Wolverine claws. That's nuts. So, it's been quite a journey. Um, I can tell you a few things, developers, if you're listening. Try to use the heads-up display less. Less ammo count on guns. Less shooters. Try to get more inspired with your ideas. Uh, use the mundane. Even still, some of the old, like, simple driving games or I don't know, turning on a faucet in VR, all this, like, simple mundane stuff is sometimes the most, like, compelling, the most enriched experiences that you can have. Um, and don't be afraid to try things that you haven't done before and see if they work. There's just some amazing combinations you can do in losing yourself in that space and some really healing uh, aspects of VR. I think it, it's certainly helping people at this time. It's proven by the fact that it's all sold out. But honestly, it kind of sucks that, um, you know, VR hasn't found its place when it comes to kind of like meetings and stuff like that. But maybe that's not what it's for, you know? Maybe it's more for like environments and stuff like that. A little bit different. I think I've just lost a dog. Anyway, I thought I'd finish uh, recording that and just let you guys know. Past a thousand. That was grand. I'm gonna keep doing what we're doing. Nearly six years now. Six six years in July will be sorted. So it's all good. Where'd my dog go? It's over there. Someone else. I better go. I better go get her. I'll see you later. Cheers.